Found Academy from Pansy Group. In this series, we're going to cover up a very problematic structure, time sequence, the first of which is simple present. Look at the phrase, it's simple, means that it doesn't have any ing form or uh, ed after where. The main verb is simple. It's also timeless, meaning that in general speaking, it's not limited to any specific time. For example, when I say I go to gym every day, it means that I've done it before or I'm doing it right now or I'm going to do it in the very future. Some of the examples may be I like cats or uh, I live in England or maybe I speak English. Another function would be for using facts and rules. For example, water boils at 100 degrees or earth goes around the sun. Be careful, the main verb is simple. It means that we can't use any ing form or uh, ed after the verb or will before the verb or to before the verb. Pay attention that in the simple present with he or she or it as the subject of the sentence, we add an s or es uh, to the main verb to make it more clear. For example, she likes cats or she speaks Spanish. Now let's check out some adverbs of times that we use in simple present. Like every time, every moment, every week, every eight hours. We mostly use them at the end of the sentence. We also have adverbs of frequency, like sometimes, always, usually, often, rarely, seldom. We use this kind of adverb between subject and verb. Now, before we head to the next step, we should have a clear definition of helping verb or auxiliaries. We use auxiliaries to first make the sentence negative and make questions from sentence. It consists of am, is, are, do, and does. Now, how can we make a sentence negative? It's simple. We just add a not after a helping verb. For example, I like cats. I don't like cats. He speaks German. He doesn't speak German. Note that there is exception here. When we use am, is, or are as the main verb, we don't use do or does to make the sentence negative. We simply add not at the end of the main verb. For example, he's a great pianist. Turns into he isn't a great pianist. The last step is how to make a question from a sentence. We only transfer the helping verb at the beginning of the sentence before the subject. For example, you speak English. Do you speak English? She likes cats. Does she like cats? And this was a complete detailed lesson regarding simple present time. Thanks for watching. Follow us on social media.